really exciting product. It is the In Glam, it's like a hair, hair styling tool of sorts. Very comparable to the Dyson and the new Shark Flex Style, if you will. It kind of falls within that category. So long story short, I'm sure everybody knows the Dyson, but the Shark one recently came out and I actually purchased it on Amazon. It was in transit to come here. We're staying with family right now. We are living full time in the RV, but we stopped by here in Missouri to visit family for a few weeks. Hence the different setup that I have going on here. But we're here for a little bit, so I ordered the Shark Flex Style. It was available and it said it would come within like a week. So I was like, yes, that's amazing. It would ship from amazon.com. And then as it's in transit, I get an email saying, sorry, your item is undeliverable. Something happened. Turns out it got damaged in transit. So they had to send it back to the seller. And I'm like, no, because that item is in such high demand. It's unavailable basically everywhere. You can order it from shark.com. But, well, it's not shark.com, it's like their website, but they it takes about one to two months to ship. And since we're traveling, I don't have access to be able to like ship stuff to my house because we don't really have a residence. We're going to be out of here traveling again in a, in a few days. So I was browsing Amazon, perusing like what's the next best thing. They do have a few options, but none of them are really comparable, I would say. In technology I did try something called the Dunn hair styler which you can't even buy right now anymore but it was nice and it kind of did the trick but it the technology wasn't there it was cheaper quality it was plastic and then I randomly came across this guy right here and this is the in glam hair styler it has a name it's about $169.99 on Amazon US dollars when I purchased it, it was $169.99. It comes in three different colors. It comes in this gorgeous Prussian blue, a beautiful light baby pink, and then like a silver. Right now it's $170. And then they also have a $30 coupon. So I applied the $30 coupon and it came prime. Okay, let me just show you guys the product page so you can see. This is one that I ordered and it comes in two other colors. But it seems like this right here is probably the closest product out there when it comes to the Dyson and the Shark. Because all other ones just not the same. And the main reason why I wanted to try it is because I love using like a roller brush, not a roller brush, but a round brush with a hair dryer to get like that roller effect. But it just takes a lot of effort. I did have the Revlon, I had the Revlon 2.0, the smaller barrel, but still I didn't wasn't crazy about the oval shape. I wanted something a little bit smaller. So I'm just really excited for the Shark, but it's not available, so we're going to try this out. It's going to be kind of like a first impressions. Let me go ahead and open the box. Again, it comes in this really cute box. So it would be great for gifting as well. It has this like wrapping gift paper of sorts on top. And then this is what it looks like when you open it up. Ta-da! This is beautiful Prussian blue. Very similar to another brand's colors, if you will. And it comes with multiple attachments. It has the hair dryer. The main part right here in the middle. It has a paddle brush, a round brush, and then only one hair curler attachment. So let me take them out one by one to show you guys. And when I first received it, I noticed right away that this one's definitely better quality than the other one that I tried from Done Hair. This one feels like it has more weight to it, doesn't feel as plasticky, even though it still feels you know, pretty plastic. I'm sure the Dyson is much more superior, but I mean for like a hundred something dollars, I can't complain. So it has the hair dryer attachment right here. And then it also has the paddle brush attachment and then the round brush attachment which I do like the size of this one it's not too small it's not too big it has kind of like the silicone type bristles as well as those bore brush type bristles so it has like a little bit of mix of both and they're kind of spaced out this is the size of it so I'd say it's a pretty good size kind of like what I'm looking for when I when I look for using a round brush on my hair I don't want anything too big because I have thin fine shorter hair so if I use one that's too big it's not going to give me the volume and lift that I want so pretty good happy medium I'll say and then last but not least they have their hair curler attachment and they only have one so with this one you're gonna to have to kind of like use it upside down to get it to go in the other direction. I do wish they had a way to, I don't know, maybe like switch the direction or they at least included two. So that sucks. But I would say that this actually has a pretty decent amount of weight to it. Like it still might be plastic or something, but it has a pretty decent amount of weight. Overall, it has four attachments and then it has the main handle portion right here where all the magic happens, almost all the magic happens. It has the power button. 
and then it has different settings. So it has three different heat settings and three different airflow settings. So you can change the airflow from low, medium to high, and then you could also change the heat settings from cool, medium to warmer. And I've tried all three, it does get pretty warm. So I like that it does have those multiple settings because the other one that I tried, it would just be, it was like just hot and then it would get too hot where I couldn't keep it close to the head. So this one does have a cool option as well and it gets pretty cool. So love that. And then it also has accessories here on the bottom, it has a little bag, a little, another little bag here, but a bag where you can like store everything so that you can keep it all in one place. Came with a brush, one glove, the Velcro thing situation, two clips, and a cleaning tool, I guess, for the hair to get the hair out. That's what it comes with. Now for the fun part is actually using it. Brush the hair. I do like that it comes with these accessories. That's kind of nice. It has these clips as well, so you can like clip your hair back. I have my own clips and stuff, but it's nice that they offer that, honestly. And then the way the attachments come in, or attach, you press the buttons on the side. The done hair styler, you had to kind of like prop it in and then twist it, and then a plastic piece inside broke off, one of these that was holding the attachments. So then all of my attachments were loose. Once that thing broke off, I had to get rid of it. They were they just wouldn't stay secure. So very cheaply made. So this definitely made better than that one, but we're still gonna see some. If you press the buttons on the side, let's see here, there we go. Let go of the buttons and that's it. So again, make sure that it's like aligned inside with the inside, pop it in. And that's it. It's literally, literally it. Let me show you guys what it sounds like now. So it's a little loud, but not like too crazy loud. This is the highest. That's the lowest. So the bottom button controls the airflow, and then the top button controls the heat. I'm gonna turn it on medium heat, but highest airflow. things that I notice is that the round, round brush kind of goes through my hair very smoothly. I don't feel tugging a lot easier than my handheld round brush that I use with my hair dryer. I used the medium heat. I feel like if I used a higher heat, I would able to control the style a lot more. This way it kind of just, just blow dried it. But if I use the highest heat setting, then it would probably keep, like let's say the ends would probably curl in more because the heat the temperature is a little bit hotter. I just used the medium one and I never felt like it was too hot. Like I could literally keep this brush near my roots and it didn't feel hot at all. It was very comfortable. On the lowest setting, it gives that cooling temperature, almost feels cooling, and then the highest, that's when you actually feel the heat. So I love that it has the multiple temperatures. But now I'm actually gonna do this section here. I'm gonna start with the back here and this is where I see a lot of my hair tends to fall flat because my hair head's kind of flatter in the back. So this is why I like using a roller brush and I'm actually gonna increase the temperature to the highest setting right now. seconds to kind of cool the hair down so it holds its shape better so again I'm gonna start off with the highest heat setting and then towards the end kind of give it like a cool shot if you will It takes time to really get to know a product 
and how to use it best for your hair type and what it is you're looking for. But this way, my hair my hair still feels very, very smooth. Like It's not too frizzy. I feel like they're, it's pretty good quality. It seems pretty good quality. Definitely much better quality than the done hair one. And they were about the exact same price. I paid, I think, over $100 for that one. And this one came out to like $130, I think. So still very reasonable and really good quality. Definitely beats paying $600. It feels... Still has it's like plasticky. It's not metal. I think the Dyson might have. Um, I mean, the Dyson is way more expensive. Obviously, I haven't tried the Shark, but I don't think I even will try the Shark, just because now I have this and it kind of covers all the boxes, checks all the boxes of everything that I was looking for. I will go ahead and try the curling attachment just to kind of show you guys how it works. Pop it in. Oh, it has an arrow. So there's an arrow right here in the front. You just align it pop it in and then let go of the sides. So very easy. And this I'm gonna use in the highest heat setting. definitely feel the heat a lot more than with the round brush. With the round brush, I could put it at the highest heat setting and it really did not feel that hot at all to my scalp, close to my scalp. But with this one, you start to feel it after a few seconds. If you're on the highest heat setting, you do start to feel it. Um, seems to curl pretty decent. My hair really does not hold a curl. I have the T3 interchangeable barrel curling wand and my hair just does not hold a curl well. That's just my hair type in general. But this, you know, kind of did a pretty decent job. I still prefer using a curling wand because I can control the curls a lot more. But if you're looking for like a very effortless curl look, then I feel like these types of products will definitely give you that. Or you can use it instead of the round brush. Sometimes what I would do is kind of, when I used to have curtain bangs, I used to curl the front portion with this as well. give you more of that curtain bang effect that will actually last. I don't know, I'm pretty impressed with it, especially for the price point. I mean, like $130, you really can't beat it. My hair feels very healthy. I feel like there's something else I wanted to mention. I like that the curling barrel and then the round brush has this tip at the top so that I can hold it when I'm curling my hair without having to touch the hot portion. So that's nice. I do think it's actually a very good product and a great Amazon find, but that's just my two cents. You can try it for yourself. If you've been wanting the Shark and you've been looking for a product like this, then I would say, I would say it's worth it, especially considering the price point. It really, it does the job. Oh, that's what I wanted to say. I wanted to say that when you're curling with this barrel right here, um, it, to wrap all the hair and then to get close to the root, I would say it's not as precise. I hear the Shark is a lot more precise even more so than the, than the Dyson, to wrap the hair around and get it close to the root, like it gets a lot closer, but they also felt like it got a lot hotter. This, you can keep it on the high, um, the high heat setting for a little bit and then leave it on for a few seconds at the end on the cool setting, that way your curls can cool down. And I would say the buttons are placed in a pretty decent place. I feel like you can easily do it with one hand. I don't think you need two hands to kind of change the settings, so I feel like Design-wise, it functions well, and it kind of checks all the boxes. That's pretty much all I can say. So it is a, a little bit of expensive. I mean, it's over a $100 product. It's not exactly pocket change, but considering the alternatives out there, I would say this is actually a really good price point, and I would, I'm very happy with it. Like, I, there's really not much that I can complain about it, but again, I'm just going to keep playing around with it and see. Those are just some thoughts off the top of my head. I'm excited to keep using it and hopefully incorporate it into future videos. But I just wanted to share. The holidays are coming. Maybe you want to buy it for yourself as like a holiday gift. It's definitely a lot more cost effective than the alternatives out there, like I said. So I don't know. I hope you guys enjoyed my personal review and my personal thoughts and opinions. Kind of like first impressions. Again, I will link it down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in future videos.